Welcome back. We are in conversation with the new, new kid in the block, uh, Helios Mutual Fund, and I have with me Samir and uh, Dinshaw. You yes. always said that globally there are only three sectors which have made Correct. lots of money, right? There's consumers, and not consumer staples in that sense, no. but Con the financials, larger con and financials and tech. I mean, of course, tech, tech. I'll get to in just a bit, but <laughs> let's just start with days. <laughs> let me just start with consumers. Uh, is that going to be kind of a uh, sort of Broadly, the research... Anchor sector in that sense. Yeah, it you. is one of the things, because our research guys like it. Also, they are not working in a vacuum. Mm. We've had a history of a philosophy, so mm. that philosophy also says which kind of themes we like, which mm. kind of uh, managements we like. Mm. And so, to make sure that the Helios India guys, because the senior guys are all the old guys, mm. so they know it, but just as an organization and for new analysts joining and people who may have joined recently, so I put out some 30-odd page note mm. on how to invest kind of thing. Mm. And that note is going to be made public in the next two, three days. Mm. So if everybody can read it. If they can do it themselves, please do it. Otherwise, you can put it in our fund. But we will tell you exactly the way we do it. Or we, the way we think about Correct. investing. And uh, in, in consumers across the board, one thing which we've seen, and I think uh, what you alluded to as well, I mean, there is a fair bit of wealth in... Uh, in all parts of the country, wherever you travel to, right? So premiumization across sectors, Everywhere the higher end, yeah. basically, is what is doing well. Unorganized to organize premiumization, brands, mm. because people are buying online, that also leads to a little bit of, mm. not uh, premiumization, but leads to organized, organized guys, because only those guys will go. So in every angle, you can say there's a little bit of upgrading of the... Mm. So consumers at the upper end, then sure, right? Finance, that, actually, finance and consumer. No, no, within consumer. Yeah. Within okay. consumer. Yeah, yeah, the upper end, yes, yes. Yeah, preferably, now, preferably. But it depends, you know, after some time, the maybe the rurally oriented might turn out. But philosophically, consumer of any kind is good. But currently, mm. the the richer consumer is doing better. Mm. better. Mm. And looks like that, that trend will continue. Maybe the lower segment also picks up, hopefully it does. But the upper end, uh, it so doesn't look like... So the upper end is always there, and mm. the lower end depends on factors and jobs and mm. rains and so many other things. So mm. it depends on stocks, if they've fallen a lot or not gone up a lot, you may add. But you're absolutely right that the rich are unaffected by many of the day-to-day -day issues, and so mostly they tend to continue to consume, whether it's the Mercedes cars or bags or whatever. Mm. And preferably buying through Landmark. Uh, if they want, <laughs> yes, they can. We have no problem with that. Okay. Uh, now, uh, the other thing is financials, uh, which is the big theme. And you guys have spoken about HDFC Bank being the big one there. Uh, uh, although that is a sector which is recently, uh, because the timelines are very long, has done very well for a long time, uh, Recently, it's kind of been, returns have been flattish, poor. Which is when you are supposed to buy them. Yeah. So we hope that in the mutual fund, whatever these guys decide to buy it. But these, I know that the, these stocks are rated well mm. within our system, yeah. Mm. Any thoughts, uh, Dinshaw? Sure, so I think our feel is that this may be the sector which may be uh, waiting in the line. I mean, as in, you've seen a consolidation happening in this mm. sector for a while. And as I said that, whenever there's, I mean, GDPs are driven by consumption, right? Mm. And these guys are the financiers of that consumption. Mm. Plus, they need to finance the capex that is needed for the consumption. So there's a double whammy for these guys. The only overhang was that probably the interest rate cycles are peaking out, and that's why the NIMS may got, get compressed. But I don't think that's the biggest story. The biggest story is the credit growth. Mm. And that is what is kicking in today. Mm. In fact, this quarter also supposedly we're looking at a mid to high teens kind of credit growth uh, uh, kicking in for the banking sector. And that's where the re-ratings happen. And that's why we feel that this is the sector you need to be in. Mm. This is the set of consumer and financial IT services now. That's the interesting <laughs> one. You've stayed away, and rightfully so. And numbers are showing guidance cuts uh, galore. <laughs> but uh, you think it's it's the pain pain is here to stay for for a while. It is here because if you are telling us publicly, <coughs> I mean not you, whoever the you, that we are not hiring, that we are not going to campus, mm. and we were always made to believe that that the. Uh, it's basically a people arbitrage, person arbitrage. Second thing is, if you say that the companies are, the clients are not willing to give business now, but they are promising a lot of business in, in the, the future, future. Mm. that means that business can't be the same. Imagine mm. going to a company and the company says, I have no business for you right now, but here take billions of dollars for next quarter. Mm. That means the business for next quarter mm. is not the same business as the business that you are, which these guys only have named it leaking bucket or whatever, all these very good names. 
yesterday we saw actually on your channel only an interview where one company was saying we have 15 day visibility mm -hmm. now if the company has 15 day visibility why am i trying for a two year visibility so the point is that because other stocks are doing well mm -hmm. But that same logic of banks, which you said that now is the time to buy, does not apply for IT. No, because those stocks are up 15, 20 percent. Hmm. Tell me, if these stocks companies had actually delivered good numbers, how much were they supposed to be up this year? Hmm. They were supposed to be 40 percent. Uh, the all these stocks, not all, I mean literally every, but broadly all these stocks are up as if they have not had a problem because many of them are up 15, 20 percent. IT stocks. Yeah. Right. Okay. So so if they had actually done had good results and good guidance, were they supposed to be up 50 percent this year? Hmm. No. Normally these big well-known companies broadly will go up 15, 20 percent in a year, but here they are going up as if there was no problem. And they're leaving out the top two three names. Hmm. So that's why we don't believe it is the case. But also because. the money is not lying in a bank that we haven't mm. spent on it mm. uh, it is in some other stocks and those stocks are doing well so there is no compulsion to, to seek right now that's the right point. i'll come to a few other sectors in a bit but uh, let me just talk about the market uh, overall as well you guys are launching the fund the fund nf opens on 23rd, uh, 23rd october. of october flexi cap fund uh, and you will get handed money and we would and like you to invest in our fund absolutely you are allowed to invest in mutual <laughs> funds <laughs> No, uh, the, uh, but <clears throat> you will and uh, inflows will come in, and you'll have to deploy at these market levels. Is there a, I mean, uh, is that some? And you will deploy, but I'm just saying that would, you would have liked it lower. You would have liked it. Uh, of course, you do it uh, when you do it. But just your thoughts. No, but actually the levels are not very off mm. because if you look at last five years, ten years, fifteen years, twenty years, twenty-five year returns of the market mm. in rupee terms, they are in the range of thirteen, fourteen, fifteen percent per annum. Mm. They don't come evenly, mm. but over those periods. So if you look at the market now for this year, mm. calendar year, mm. in. NSC 500, I think it's up some 12, 13 percent. So broadly in line with what annualized numbers are, if you look at last year, the market was up 4.4 percent. NSC 500. Mm. So in 21 months, it is up less than what is our normalized number. Mm. If you convert it to dollars, mm. because last year the rupee depreciated whatever 10 percent. So in dollar terms, a foreign investor has made 5, 6 percent in 21 months. So mm. he also does not feel that he's missed out a lot. so these are the things that we are, i mean the levels are okay they are they mm. can be cheaper but then our current my investors would be hurt so it's a balance between all the time what you want for the new obviously and for the old so it's okay it's broadly uh, not it's not wild that but you know that's the index right but broader markets no broader yeah. market also other than some one or two sectors or sub sectors and maybe mm. small cap stocks mm. because anyway in a flexi cap fund 50% or so will be large caps mm. it, we have ranged in the past uh, in our pms and whatever i saw between 40 and 70 odd percent mm. so 50% is okay mm. because you are saying large caps are okay so then that 50% we have to buy some mid caps a little less small caps maybe not avoid the category but avoid those kind of stocks that are up a lot for mm. if they are up for for no reason which i think many of them are up for no reason mm. do you believe this do you uh, kind of uh, uh, it's almost become like a drum beat saying that large cap by large cap now is the time for large caps I mid caps agree. you agree yes that is I the agree case because if you see any big cycle the small cap when they go up a lot they go down a lot mm. and then they get sorted and then some ones who survive then they become mid cap mm. but not people say oh you should buy small cap because they will all become you know, because all large companies was uh, initially small cap let's mm. say mm. all large cap companies were initially small cap but all small companies did not become large cap mm. or even mid cap mm. Mm. that will be mm. right. then show sure, your thoughts on this the, the the broader market and how well it is done do you kind of so 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 if you look at it uh, prashant the fact is that the markets have gone up mm. based on re ratings happening mm. right every single quarter last three quarters in fact the earnings have got upgraded there have not been downgrades so it's obvious that these valuations are holding up because of upgrades happening in fact this quarter again mm. we're looking at some i mean delhi sectors obviously there'll be downgrades happening but bulk of them whatever advanced numbers that we're seeing from the from the uh, uh, analyst mm. they're looking at upgrades happening so also if you look at the valuations if you look at the last 6 7 years we are somewhere close to the average i mean in fact in certain cases below the average but 10 years we probably one standard deviation away so it's not 
too overpriced a market. But our belief is that we're in a good space today, given that the growth is built in and looking forward. When you guys were launching, was there a debate about uh, active versus passive? Yes, there was and a lot of debate. Tell us a little bit about the, the, anybody, the inside track. Anybody who what would have debated the... on the other side would have been fired. <laughs> <laughs> so there was so only... nobody debated oh, on this. <laughs> because we are fun, we have not come from a background saying that we are desperate <laughs> to do some new business, so let's go into financial business. We have been active fund managers so, or mean, fund managers or research heads or whatever. Correct. Even the other founders were all from Alliance, the mm. old. Mm. Everybody is active. We understand the mm. power of active and we have done well by being active. Mm. So not only we are not doing it now, we are mostly not doing it for at least three, four years after that, who knows. <laughs> But you, we will see more product, more schemes, etc. So we coming want through. to do. We don't want to do one fund, and we don't want to do eighteen funds. So mm. we'll do four, five funds. Okay. Because you know, a it gives more growth opportunities within the firm, so mm. more people join, mm. and then they add value. And second is you need a certain bouquet for the distributor also, mm. so that uh, when you are tying up with great difficulty with some good distributors, mm. and he has four things that he wants to buy, you want to say, okay, we have we them. We can offer. But we will do only those where we believe. That's why we are not doing every category, every sector, every month like some funds do. Hmm. One of the things which has happened, Arjun Shaw, and we were discussing this earlier, the, the kind of companies which are coming to the market now, I mean, they're actually completely new business models. It was, the opportunity did not exist even two years ago, right, in many cases. Uh, and then thro that throws up uh, opportunities and challenges because there is nothing to benchmark it against and uh, thing. Any thoughts on that? And so, Prashant, yeah. as I told you that we have this eight factor of mm. rejection and that helps a lot, mm. right? So one recent uh, company which came up and it got rejected on the on the promoter level. Mm. That's the fourth factor of rejection. Mm. Very exciting industry. It was in defense and it was supplying to, it had a huge mm. order book. Yes. I won't talk about the <laughs> name of the company. But then listing also was very good. Yeah. But then the numbers came out and things came out in the open that, okay, fine. There were certain issues and the mm. stock is down half of what the listing was. So that helps in a very big way. Mm. These factors of rejection are universal across industries. Mm. They're sector agnostic. Mm. So you can work on those and obviously but that helps. But in terms of new models, we <coughs> had uh, Paytm, Zomato, yeah, which we both all, bought. So those all. also are new models. Mm. Now, every day, uh, I mean, we didn't buy, but there have been many new, I agree, there's been airport facilities management, Correct, or, or, you know, they are not facilities that, yeah. uh, lounge, yeah. management, lounge management, there have been many, many companies. I mean, even the auto dealership uh, auto we're dealership talking about, we own, I don't yeah. think we've had another. Yeah. Correct. No, but those actually, I mean, I didn't think of that because mm. that business was always there in the private space. Mm. In the listed, it is new. Mm. So at least that business is easy to understand. But mm. this Paytm Zomato is even more complicated to understand as a business, and we got both of them right. Well, uh, gentlemen, I wish the both of you all the luck in the world and uh, your teams uh, all the best. Thank you very much. Uh, and we look forward to the launch. Thank you. And we look Thank forward you. to all you guys investing <laughs> in our fund. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Amir. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.